Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, acho que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta e observem com atenção. Hi friends, my name is Rebel and Fien, and this is Teleforum. Today we're going to step into the shoes of a reporter interviewing the widow of journalist Walter Martin. Now if you don't know who Walter Martins is, me neither. Welcome to the club. If you don't know why you're a reporter and why this is your job, me neither. Welcome to the club. Uh, but this this game did have very good reviews on Steam, and the trailer intrigued me for it. So, let's go do some reporting. Oh, I'm supposed to read this. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Mm, I thought I had it on. Weird. Well, it's recording now. Right. It's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Sure, Juliana. Anything for you, Juliana. What if I don't go? What if I go to the third floor? Can I go to the third floor? No, man. We're going to the sixth floor. But what if I go to the fourth floor? Walter lived on the sixth floor. Hmm, what if I go to the fifth floor? Let's hurry up to the sixth floor before anyone else has the same idea. What if I go to T? T. What are you doing? We need to get to the sixth floor. Fine. Let's go to the sixth floor. Fine. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Hey. Did you get authorization for this? Authorization? What are you talking about? They never approve sensationalist stories like this. You need to hand them the complete material, get it? If it's already done, it's harder for them to refuse it. I see, I see. So you, you, you want to uh, apologize rather than ask for permission, or however you're supposed to say that. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? Why? Why is the cameraman so mysterious? They just told me how it happened. What he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Celso, Celso a VHS tape. The, T, the BT operator? Right. Celso. I'm going to call him Celso, okay? Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. And bam, it happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. What happened? What happened, Juliana? Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side, head towards the trash bags. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the trash bag. Oh, I got it right. First try. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What will look better on the video? Um... What, uh... Look through the people. Oh. I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now. If she isn't, she will be now. Rude. Let's do this one. Let me try again. 
That is a realistic doorbell. Uh, say, did you work for, with Walter for long? You worked with Walter? Some, four years. I'm, this hit me hard too, you know? I wanna do something for him and take advantage of the situation in the process. Sure, he'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. Well, this is going to be all for nothing if nobody answers the door. All right, third time's the charm. What do you want? Ah! Uh, ad, ad, Adriana? Adriana. Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage. A kind of rep retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine. Come in. It might be good to talk about it. I can't believe she bought that. Maybe she needs this now. Come on, before she changes her mind. Hey, why are you being creepy in the doorway? I don't like her. Ooh, I can move my mouse around. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martin. Hmm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. Me neither. I'll go make some. Why is she barefooted? What's up with that dog? How do I? Let me see that dog. Let me see that dog. It, it. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Let me just make sure I'm actually windowed into the game because I see my mouse going off screen. Mm, really am. All right, let's snoop around while we have the chance. Let's go. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. How do I do that? Oh. Let me see that dog! Let me see that dog! Look at that dog! Look at that good boy. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. Okay. Thanks! Walter even carried the dog's picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son. Aww. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the ro whole room here, okay? Oh. Uh, chicken. Chicken. Is it going to rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Uh, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we could use this take to set the mood. I'm the best cameraman. Hello! That's a nice little sitting place. Look at this headline. The tragic passing of Walter Morton's. So it's made them news already. They moved fast to cover this one. It happened live. Of course it was shocking. Well, I don't even know really what happened, so stop talking to me like this is all very obvious, because it is not. I wanna... is there a camera in here? Whoa, VCR player, fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Oh. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. Okay. Let's do this. These, these keys right here. 
I remember Walter brought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right, the image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he had cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. What currency is that? He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. I'm gonna have to look. <gasps> Elky holes. There are a lot of books in this house. I thought we were gonna talk about the alcohols. Anything interesting? Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube. CRT. The pages are loose. Okay. Look at these certificates. Journalism degrees from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Miss Martin's is just the same. What a waste. Oh, what? Is she still in there? Yeah. Okay. Keep the camera on. Look around some more. Am I supposed to find some specific? Hey, that TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually. I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. I do not know. Coffee's almost done. Will you have one? Uh, no, I'm fine. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. I'm gonna say no because I'm not 100% certain that this lady standing in this dark hallway is not trying to poison me so no thank you so did you think it over i did let's get this done with great we'll begin shortly let's shoot the interview on, on that chair silva ready no but it doesn't matter okay let's go in three two one we are here with Miss a Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during this most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two live. Gunpowder. What's been getting you through these difficult times? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. The dog. Of course, he's been quite sad. He knows something's amiss. He misses Walter. At least taking care of him has taken my mind off things. Hmm. An electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader. What is been, What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk around all around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around the v VCR. I noticed because he even stopped reading the papers. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did he enjoy the most? Ma'am? Can you ask about something else? Uh, sure. You're the boss. Television seems strange. Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to TV. I couldn't help but notice your television here. I, yes, we had a blackout that day. There was a horrible lightning strike nearby right after the broadcast. Almost gave me a heart attack. The TV hasn't been wor working properly since then. I leave it on so the house feels less empty. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martin. We have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to. No one expected that, Mrs. Morton. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Oh, no. A gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The, the gun. The one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. 
That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? Poison. No, I was told you took poison. What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? I also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned. Something like that. That wasn't the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes. Here. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home, or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, too, don't you? For your show. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try and change your mind. I, I'm going outside to have smoke. I didn't even want to hear this thing. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Yeah, I just gotta see what the hell's going on here. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Okay, girl. Right, let's make some room here. All right, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all in editing later. There, I'll press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. These symbols. I, I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Mm. Looking at them makes my head hurt. Me, it's the eyes. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Uh, like prison, shopping mall, museum, like a school. It doesn't look like any of those. It looks like an endless looping hallway. Maybe, hmm, a museum? Yeah, but look at the expedition. exhibition. Who would authorize this type of thing? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy, he looks, he looks. No, get out of my ear. Did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. Do not. No. Ooh, I hate it. I don't hear any of these things in this. Someone named Oscar? I don't... I can't hear anything about an Ox Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. You and me both, Juliana. Let me turn up the volume one more time. You really don't have to. Oh dear. I swear to God, if she turns around, if she turns around, if she flips her head around, that's it. I'm turning this thing off.
Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? What do you mean? What are we doing now? Okay, hurry up. Let me get the button. Six floor, apartment 608. Are we looping? You look like you've seen a ghost. Just some deja vu. Right. Let's get to the 608 already. Head towards the window. Continue towards the window? What are you doing? How about you stop wasting your time? Can you do that? Hmm? Juliana, why are you being so snatchy? Yeah, what's wrong with you? What? Uh. I... I think Walter's death got to me. I'm sorry. I... It's okay. We're all shocked. Yeah. Let's head to the 608 then. There's the apartment. Finally. I hate everything about this. I'll do the talking. Good evening. We're from Chanaway. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events? Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Aren't you going coming on a little too strong here? No, we need to investigate this. She's got her whole life to mourn. What the heck happened to you, Juliana? Come on, get in. Oh, I don't want her. I still don't like this angle. I still don't like it. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. Rubbers? No, let's just... God damn it. I'll have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Puppers, you okay? You okay there, buddy? Hey, Gunpowder. He seems a little nervous. Uneasy. Or is he afraid? You okay there, buddy? So many books. Hmm. Huh. There's one missing. Uh-oh. He's loot. Look at all these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people back at the studio. Right. But I don't recognize any of these institutions. Oh. Dear, oh dear. That's different. Was that it's something about this TV set gives me the creeps? Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look, go there and take it off. Juliana, what is your problem? This isn't your house. I don't know about the front door. What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. 
No, this isn't your house. I won't do that. Do you always talk back like that? It's just a little favor. Come on, we'll put it back up later. Uh, what about no? I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Yeah, Juliana. Fine. I'm pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. There. Man, lady, lady, you creepy. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here, with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? No, we're not shooting anything. We don't have a lot of time and I made her uncomfortable. Let me check the tape. Maybe there's something we can add to the video and edit. Meanwhile, go talk to her. Interview the widow. You can al you always wanted to conduct an interview, right? We can make some time that way. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. I don't like that she's going to watch this by herself. Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. No, focus. If I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. Let's play the reporter. Mrs. Morton's? What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Juliana is watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. Are you program? Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Uh, she's busy with the tape. It's an opportunity for me. Actually, I got worried about- Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. People who stop at nothing. Eh. Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You better think very quick, carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How was Walter on that day? Normal. Just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing, but his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after it had already happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Hmm. Do you know where the tape came from? No, we need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies, hard to find films, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room, watching that thing, makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Uh, because it's an important piece of this case. Yes. I could see the greed in your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. He was your co-worker, no? That was planned. Was it, really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I... I could swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Hmm. Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. So you choose to omit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder, the allure of a sensationalist piece of news. 
You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? I... I want to know. At least you're being honest. Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Mrs. Martins. Alrighty. Alrighty, Juliana, you done, girl? We gotta go. This lady be wanting her, 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 her living room back. Oh, okay, cool. Times are still weird. Hello. Here are you. Okay. I need to reach the apartment. The apartment. Which apartment? 806, 608, 816. 608. Yes, that was it. Thanks. I had someone else with me. Ju. Ju. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna remember the spelling. Juliana. That's right. The bitch. And she just kind of plugs it, you know, at first. And then the tape did something to her, but that's not her fault. That tape. What I saw in it. I recorded a nightmare, seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past and future that never happened. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't remember, or I don't know, because Juliana's head was in the way the whole time, but unrecorded nightmare wouldn't be true by default because it was recorded. Um, I don't know if it ever had a name. So maybe the past of a future? Oh. In which future do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartment. She stayed there. Okay. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Uh, can it though? I need to get on. Is this the right way? Yes, this way. I don't, I don't know. Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? Oh, puppers! What's wrong, baby? What's your matter with your poor baby? Gunpowder. What happened here? Are you okay, bud? Why is the dog here? Where's your owner, hmm? Hey, gunpowder, where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh, no, not now. Come on. Ugh. Gunpowder! Come back here! Bye! What's gotten into him? He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on some type of note. Inspect the note. It's a note. I've had it and did what I shouldn't. I now live the past of a future that never happened. I move through strange events, ephemeral, ephemeral, Facts. Truth and lies no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She, she also, uh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog, where did he go to? Gunpowder? I am going inside. I'm going, I need to. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. 
<laughs> I wish I questioned my actions as hardcore as this cameraman just questions his decisions. <laughs> I just noticed it now. And it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera carries me, not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. That's a creepy thought. That's a weirdly creepy thought. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Is that gunpowder? That's gunpowder on the floor, I think. Uh, gunpowder, you okay? You okay there, buddy? I missed several pieces of the puzzle. Rewind, that's interesting. All right, let's see. We'll see what this is. Everyone loves a rerun. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got the camera on? Looks like opening your eyes. The camera, the mic, they become part of us. What? Huh? I don't know why I said that. I need to catch up on my sleep. I dropped the smokes, but moved on to coffee. Let's focus on doing this well and quickly, all right? All right, we want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Yeah. What the heck was that? What is it? You look like you have something to say. Uh, let's see. Do you think it's wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Let's see. Let's take a more sympathetic approach. If we don't do this, someone else will. You know, Augusto back at the station? He's itching to make a special show about this. Trust me, new guy. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. Oh, we're here. Come on. Apartment 608. Easy to remember. Yeah. Alright, last time I think we went straight to the trash bag, so I'm gonna go to the light side first and see if it makes a difference. I don't think it's this way. I think we can get a nice take by the window. Hmm, you're right. You have a good eye. Ooh, I hated that. Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down the corridor. You can film her getting the door and all that. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What'll look better on the video? I think I knocked first accidentally, so let's ring the doorbell first. I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. What do you mean? It malfunctions. Sometimes it blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Let's do the story, then Ferrero won't be able to deny you some new equipment. Let me try again. Mm. What if she won't see us and is she even home? Is she even home? Ferrer called her right after it happened. I doubt she left the house since yesterday. Alright, third time's charm. What do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage. A kind of retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So we want to talk to you about what about him about what happened. Right. All right. Come in. It might be good to talk about it. Uh quick thinker. Can't believe she bought that. Homage. Homage? 
Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. I, I'm gonna accept a cup of coffee this time. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's soup around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Who? Oh, dear lord. That was horrifying. You know Walter better than I. He read a lot. He read most of the papers every day. I guess these books belong to Mrs. Martin. Look, a daily trophy. All right, Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make it stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big one. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all that you can now. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. The photo has a story behind it. I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. You should, because I found it. My coat's all blurry. Am I supposed to click on the things that are blurry? This plant is begging for water. Guess it's been neglected in the last few days, considering all that happened. Is that a horseshoe? Seems so. Like, for good luck? I didn't know Walter was this superstitious. Coffee's almost done. Hi, lady. You're still creepy. Will you have one? Yes. I will this time because it's different. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this over with. We are here with Miss Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Let's see. Uh, the blurred photo on the shelf. You have a rather peculiar picture in your living room. Ah, that was the first picture I took with the two of us. I put the camera on a tripod and set it all up for it all up to take our photo. Then, well, this lap wing showed up, out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. The bird got furious and attacked the camera right when it took the picture. Then it attacked us. That was the result. A portrait neither of us appear in from yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. I used to find it funny, too. All right, so let's talk about the award in the living room. Walter was a very high caliber professional working at a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He thought he had less problems with higher ups when working at a smaller station. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man, not in that sense. He was a good man. Uh, the amulet, the sickly plant. What about the last 24 hours? Just look around the house. I have been forgetting things. I would have forgotten to feed gunpowder if he didn't remind me so often. And, yes. What a cool question, girl. Let's, uh, go on, yes? The amulet above the front door. Did Walter have any superstitions? He didn't seem to have one, but I was just a co-worker. We never get to completely know someone, right? No, never. He wasn't religious, either. So that amulet above the front door is yours? No. Care to elaborate? No. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already. Oh, oh. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? So we chose poison last time, so let's do this. What? How could that be? My god, I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast. He also examined the tape back in the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, don't you? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. Bye! 
This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Are you crazy? I'm out. Whoa, whoa. Stop right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to watch it. Just, just film me as I'm watching it. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Well, I tried. I tried to get out of it. These symbols. I, I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Uh, I feel like I can almost understand them. But at the same time, I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. What is this place? So I chose museum last time, so let's start with the prison. Prison. Inside the cells, are those... Are those people? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. I don't remember there being somebody up ahead. No, there was. That guy, he looks... He looks... Oh no, not this again. <laughs> I hear Charlie. I keep hearing Charlie. Did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. Char, take my hand, we'll take a walk. Get to zero inside the lost heart. I'll buy you the sky. Chard? Who's Chard? You really heard that? I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Why am I zooming in more this time? Uh, I don't remember what I chose. I had it. I'm out of here. I don't remember what I chose last time. That is a very white screen. Thank you. Thank you. Wonder if this is different. Nope, it's the same. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? On? Now? Yeah, the fu footage might be useful. Let me get the button. Sixth floor, apartment 608. That was different. You look like you've seen a ghost. You look different today. I changed my makeup. That was not good. That was not a good time. Hello! Let's get to the 608 already. Okay, we went to the window, so let's go directly to 608 this time. There's the apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. Hello! Uh, there's something off here. Yeah, there is. That's what we'll find out. Come on, get in. She's so rude now! We're about to begin. Do you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. Hi, Plovers. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. God, she's so annoyed. What is this? There's an old newspaper here. Walter kept some specific issues. There's a highlighted article. Police have closed investigations on the missing person's case at a, a lake upstate. Nothing but one videotape has been found. The family protests against the police's inaction. That's old news. Forget it. Well, uh, I, I, I hated that. No, I didn't want to talk to the dog. Okay. Hello, puppers. How are you? 
Yes, he's afraid. There's a tape here on the VCR. There's something written on the label. It's pretty faded. I can only read T. That comes before the numbers. Well, if I'm going to snoop, let's play this. Oh, no! What? My ear holes are bleeding, though. Hey, cut it out. Too much noise will attract Mrs. Martin's attention. All right, my bad. There's a VHS collection here. They're all labeled and organized. Hmm. Huh, number five is missing. Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. If I take it off, how bad is it going to be for me? Is this raincoat wet? Mrs. Martins must have worn it yesterday. There was a storm, right? Look, there's a ripped notebook page in this pocket. Some notes. I keep seeing those same numbers, so I returned here. A metal box appeared. It has a numeric pad. I can't open it. Like metal trees, I saw two radio towers the numbers once again weird notes he must have it a lot on his mind the last few days if i'm supposed to be keeping up with these numbers <laughs> <I'm> screwed <laughs> what you heard me you can reach up there if you jump right so take it down what the hell my mom had one just like it at home looking at this thing reminds me of her and i don't want to remember her so can you take that down Okay, fine. I'll take it down. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? What a strange object. What do I do with this now? I don't care as long as it's away from me. There. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it was the original one. The original is here with you. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is that why you came here? I wouldn't have opened the door had I known. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. Tell me when you're done. Uh, hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? I don't have time for this, but fine. You're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know, why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. I want to interview her. I want to see what you're up to in here. Ah, there she is. What is that? That's your feet? What's wrong with your feet? What is going on here? What, what is that? Uh, help Miss Martin feel better. That's what I want to believe, at least. Okay. Uh, what's in the tape? I don't know. I never watched it. Walter made me promise I'd never watch it. I was kind of curious before. Not anymore. Uh, why did you keep the tape? I have no idea why I kept the thing. I should have burned it, crushed it with a hammer, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I think I see him when I look at the tape, you know? Just thinking about that girl and alone in my living room watching that thing makes my skin crawl. Why is she so interested in that tape? Uh, to tell the truth, so am I. Of course. The copy ended up being a blank, right? Or it got burned, I'm not sure. I can see how this would entice you. It's a mystery, after all. But, don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I could swear I've seen her before. Where are you in this anyway? Uh, can we conclude the interview first? No, no we can't. You came here. I didn't call anybody. I have the right to ask my questions. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. Uh, object weighs heavily. What object? No, no, don't say anything. The look on your face says it all. There are certain pursuits that, that aren't worth it. 
They are far too costly. What? Something's weighing on my head, something's weighing on my heart, something's weighing on my stomach. On my head? This is too much for you, isn't it? I know that because it's been too much for me too. The camera is too heavy. This is too much for you, isn't it? I got something here that it's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. Are you serious? The camera is too heavy. You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here. A little push out the window. Deny the object in your pocket? But I'm confused. I'm very confused. I don't understand any of this. Here he comes, creepy man. Hello! I need to reach the apartment. Which apartment? What if I get this wrong? 806. Was that the number? I had someone else with me. Ju. Ju. Julia. Who's Julia? That tape. What I saw in it. Uh, I was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. How many things have I already forgot? How many fake, fake memories have I recalled? The apartment. She stayed there. Well, we're not going to go check on the puppers this time. Do I really want to follow it? Yes. What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge. There's a grate. I need to see what's in there. This is different. Oh dear. Juliana? That woman. Looking at her was like staring down a hole in the world. My head hurts. I want to leave. Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? smell. It's stronger here. Smell. No. Oh, I went the wrong way. I was gonna follow the smell. Go back. The smell's coming from inside the apartment. I know what it is. The smell. It's ozone. Look into the smell's origin. Okay. I need to leave this place. Is this the apartment? So I have no choice after I do that. Okay. Poor poppers, why are you playing? Come back here, gunpowder! He was laying on top of a note. Go after gunpowder. We looked at the note last time. Go after gunpowder. Going inside. No, I want to leave this place. No, this story. It was all wrong since the start. Uh... Uh, well, there's a lady in the elevator, but we, the stairs were really creepy. Elevator seems faster. Just go already. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid.
I keep getting these achievements for rewinds, and they keep taking me back. I'm going inside. No, I want to leave this place. We're gonna take the stairs. Stairs, I found the stairs. Ooh. Dang it! I'm not allowed to leave. <laughs> this sucks. I'm going. I need to. I really am because I have no choice. I tried to leave two different ways and it wouldn't get- it, it just re-realm me. No, forget it. I'm only doing this to gather as much footage as possible. I was told this was important once. Gunpowder? I'm going in. We're not going to consider how how the camera is carrying him. We're not going to do that this time. What a creepy place. Echoes of a videotape. I can only read T before the numbers. Echoes of void. The tape number five is missing. Oh, I can still see these. Echoes of a note. There were two radio towers. So we got T, 2, and 5. I don't know where to put that, but that's what we have. And 1. T, 2, 5, 1. So T, 1, 2, 5. I don't know where to put that, though. I don't know. Alright, let's go see. I don't think this is going to make a difference. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Pois, se está vendo isso, acredito que já seja tarde demais. Os antes deles já se tornaram nossos olhos. Tudo que vemos. Eu entendo o afã em buscar mais, entender mais. Mas já sabe o que aconteceu comigo por tentar fazer o mesmo. Por que seguiu esse mesmo caminho? Bom, não importa. Já chegou a verdade, telespectador. E ela tem um custo. Mas não precisamos pagar nada. Não precisamos nos submeter. Ouça. Eles não têm controle disso. Não é ainda. Desligue o vídeo. Vá embora. E não volte. Escapará por entre os dedos deles. A maior das rebeldias. Vá embora. Não volte. Interesting. But the real question is, did I get all the tapes? Did I do it? Did I have I done this thing that I that, that I set out to do? Uh, do not watch beyond this point. The creation of any copies of this material in any form is prohibited. What do you? Oh, this is is this a different screen? Critical reflex. Did I finish it? <gasps> I got them all. I did it. Well, that is the end of that. That was really good. I enjoyed it. It was more of like an eerie atmosphere than it was like a spooky game. I have many questions. I don't want the answers to them. Um, and if you've enjoyed this as much as I have, then I'll include the link to the game in my description box below for you to go play it yourself. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.